Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. So if you're a little bit curious about what I'm wearing at this moment, I just filmed a video about recreating a look of Sarah Love's makeup again. And I actually think it turns out amazing. It was a gothic kind of look. And if you want to check it out, I will link that in the eye. But for today, we're gonna do a eyeshadow collection. So I have like one single and the rest is palettes. And one liquid. This is an eyeshadow collection, but my Jeffree Star eyeshadows are not in this collection because I'm doing a separate video of those. So in this video, I'm going to show you what the palettes look like, what brand they are from, and I'm going to swatch them for you. Well, you're not going to see how I swatch them, but you're going to see what the swatches look like. So you can have a little bit more information about what the palettes actually look like, what colors are in them and what I have in my collection for now. So I am gonna start with the separate ones. I have this one from MAC. It's a paint pot in the color Bear Study. Looks like this. It's a very pretty shiny color and I do use this one sometimes for a base because this is actually a more glittery one and if I put this on and I'll put a glittery eyeshadow on which is almost the same color or the same tint they look very beautiful on each other. I do have one eyeshadow from Makeup Factory Ooh. this in the color Does, does it have a color? It doesn't look like it has a name. It just says Metal Shine Eyeshadow, but it looks like this. It's a very pretty blah, blah. It's a very pretty blah. It's a very pretty brown glittery shade, which looks very beautiful. And if you're watching my channel, like before this video, I already have a review about this product, which is from Colourpop, and it's a um, jelly eyeshadow in the color Saguaro. I, I don't know how to pronounce that. This is actually very, very pretty and really extremely shiny. And then I do have a liquid eyeshadow, which is from MAC and it's called Diamond Crumbles. It looks really, really pretty. And the jelly one and this one actually like stay on your eyes for the whole day. They just have to dry like normally. So you, if you're putting that in the crease and you're looking up while it's drying, of course it's not gonna go amazing. Like it's not gonna look the best it can look. So you should keep your eyes down while they're drying. So here you have the MAC Paint Pot. This is the one from Makeup Studio. This is the one from Colourpop and this is the one from MAC, which is the liquid one. And they all actually have such a beautiful shimmer. Now we're gonna go on with the Morphe 2 Multi Palettes. I already have filmed a review of all these palettes, so you can find them on my channel. And of course, I will link it in the eye. Well, I will link just one and the rest you can find on my channel. I do have all five of them, so this is the Violet Vibes one, this is the Pink Please one, this is the Fresh Peach one, then I have the Oh So Nudie one, and I have the Stay Golden one. And of these five palettes, the top one here is the eyeshadow one so i'm just gonna swatch the top ones for you and if you want to have more information about these palettes you can find those in my other videos because i've tried actually all of the colors like from everyone and these are all of the colors swatched they're actually all like really pretty and shiny 
So this is the one from the Violet Vibes palette. This is the one from the Pink Please palette. This is the one from the Fresh Peach palette. This is the one from the Oh So Nudie palette. And this is the one from the Stay Golden palette. And I actually love all of these and I love how pretty and shiny and how different they all are. And for now I only have different palettes so I'm gonna do a palette and swatch it for you of course. But I'm first gonna talk about it and what it looks like just like I did with the previous ones. So I now have this Colourpop palette, it's the Moon Haze Press Powder palette which looks like this. It's actually the only Colourpop eyeshadow palette I own. And these are what the colors look like. I think this has a beautiful color story. The only thing I don't like is this one disappears during the day, so that's really sad. For the rest, I love this shadow. They are really easy to use. The colors are really pigmented and bright. And I get why so many people like Colourpop, but Colourpop is really hard to get in the Netherlands, so that's why I just don't have that much of this brand. So these are all the colors of this palette and if you want to know more about this palette I did a review on my channel of this palette too. So the first shade here is called Outland, the second shade is called Electro, the third one is called Dreamwave which I absolutely love because it's really really bright and pigmented and the shadows are actually really really soft. This one is called Quantum and the last one is called Astral. And if I find more of this palette that I already made videos of, I'm of course gonna tell you, but I'm gonna link them down below too. Then I'm gonna go on with the Too Faced Sugar Plum Fun eyeshadow palette, which is this one and is the only Too Faced palette I own. Looks like this. I actually like this palette, but the shimmers were a little bit worse than I expected. I expected them to be actually really nice and they're not that pigmented but the matte ones actually are so that's really nice and it smells like vanilla. So this is what all of these shadows look like. Those two shimmers are actually really really nice but I was really excited for this shimmer and because it is like a brown with a pink purple shift to it and it's not as bright as those two as I wanted so that's why I think it's really sad. But for the rest of it, I love this palette and it has a beautiful color story. So the first one is called Dancing in Their Heads. The second one is called Babes in Toyland. This one is called Tasty Treats. This one is called Nice Technique. This one is called Tutu. This one is called Tool. This one is called Sugar Flum. And this one is called Meet Me at the Bar. The next palette is the Huda Beauty Matisse Obsession palette in the purple one. And it's actually the only product I have from Huda Beauty. I think this color story is so beautiful. And I love that you can see all the shades on the top of the palette. I actually think it's a really nice concept that you have like these tiny ones to take with you with in every color. And Huda Beauty has so many of these and I really like the pigment and the colors of these. So I actually want to try more palettes of Huda Beauty but not the tiny ones. I actually want to try the bigger ones. So these are all the colors of the palette and I actually love how many different tints of purple you have in this little eyeshadow and look at all those beautiful sparkly glitters they're like so pretty and I actually like I don't know what the shades are called like I actually don't know if the shades are have actually names because I don't see anything on the back but I side where my pinky is to the other side and it ends with this pretty purple pink one as you can see. I do think it's a little bit weird that I can't find the names of this palette, like of the shades in this palette and of course if you use this palette for normal use you don't need 
any names of the colors but I always think it's really handy to know what kind of shades because when I started doing makeup and I wanted to recreate looks I did I wrote down the names of the palette and which colors I used from the palette so that's like one minus point I have of this palette next palette that I'm gonna talk about is the Revolution X Pride Express Myself Paint palette so I did want a palette where I can paint my face like for Halloween looks and actually use this one a lot as you can see Okay. Ooh, don't fall they're not really to use on the eyes because it can burn a little so that means it's not good but you can use it like all around the face and it doesn't stay on for that long so I just use this to do the look make a couple pictures and then take the look off at night I'm not gonna swatch these because the colors look exactly how they look in the pan and you just put this shade on your face and it's this shade I have this Juvia's palette which is in the color Nubian Tree Coral and this is what the palette looks like. This is actually the only Juvia's palette I have. My mom does have one too because I gave that one to her. I actually love this color story. I haven't used it that much but I think it's really cool how they have these warm tones and these colder tones. So you can take this with you if you really like those pinky warm tones and those grayish gold tones. And you can do very variations look with it which is very very nice because you can do an everyday look. And you can do a night look within this palette. The only thing I'm missing from this palette is a mirror. I do love the shiny part but I think a mirror is always handy with a palette like this. And this is what the colors look like on my hand. I actually love the shiny ones. They're really really pretty. I especially love this one, this one and this one. And just like in the Huda Beauty one palette, this palette doesn't really have names and it doesn't have names on the back. But I did start it from this point to the side here from all the three rows. So with that you can see which is which and I think this variety of colors actually really pretty. Then I have this Morphe 9 pen palette which is called the Artistry palette, palette de mice and beauty. Beauty. It says Painted Desert, so I think that's the name. These ones are actually really hard, well, not really hard, but harder to open, and the mirror doesn't flip all the way to the back, and I do like it when they flip all the way to the back. This is what the colors look like. It's actually a really pretty color story, and the name of the colors are on this tiny thing but I was thinking about filming a video with this one because I have made a really pretty look with this in the past so I'm thinking about doing that let me know in the comments down below if you want to see that look but I do like that this palette has a very big mirror like very big a bigger palette so that's really nice it has a beautiful color story with with three shimmers and rest of them is matte so i would like a little bit more of a shimmer in this palette but that's just my preference because i love shimmers but you can do a variety of looks with this one you can do a whole matte look you can do a lighter look you can do a darker look and you can do a shimmer look with this so that's really really nice and this is what the colors look like. Really, really pretty. What I do like about the Morphe products is that they're actually not hard to get your hands on in the Netherlands, where I live. And they're actually like not that expensive, so that's really, really nice. So this one is called Photo Up. This one is called Vista. This one is called Overlook, Bucket List, 
high temp and I actually think I love this one the most because it's a very very bright color which with the glitters of course this one is called horizon this one is called awestruck this one is called senetic nay this one is called scenic and the last one is called panoramic and I think this has very beautiful colors and I could do my everyday look with this palette to be honest. This is again a Morphe palette. This one is a 9 pan 2 and it's called Too Hot For Ho. And I actually think it looks really pretty with the pink and the orange. It has the same big mirror again which you can't flip over. And I think this is such a beautiful color story. These ones are more like a pastel color than a more very very bright color like I actually hope but I still think this is a very pretty palette and very easy to use. The colors, the name of the colors are on the back so you don't lose the names. But for Morphe I do prefer how the other palette had it with a sheet over it so it's easier for you to look which color is which. And again I think these colors are really pretty. I just wish there were like a little bit more of glitter tones in here because I have three shimmers and that's this one, this one and this one. And I do love this one the most because it has this beautiful rose gold tint to it. And the colors disappear actually a little bit more when you blend them so they don't look like as bright as they do on my hand. Now we're going to go with the bigger palettes. I actually have one, two, three. Five palettes left from my normal collection. The first one is the Morphe X Many MUA Glam Palette. I used this one a couple times on my palette because I on my palette on my channel because I really like this one. So if you're following me for a while now, you would already know that I've used this one a lot. And I actually think this is one is really handy to take with you for holiday. Our vacation which I did with when I went on vacation with my boyfriend because these two are actually highlighters which you can use them as a topper for your eyeshadow but I do love the variety of these colors it has pretty light colors it has pretty dark colors it does have many shimmers in it and many mattes so you can use this like for everyday use for night look for day look so that's really really handy and I love that I do think um, the mirror is a tiny, tiny bit small in comparison with the other Morphe palettes. I th do think they could have done it a little bit bigger, but I'm not complaining because it has a mirror inside. So that's really handy to use. And I actually can't get all of these at once at my arm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do row by row and I'm going to do the two highlighters with the last row. So I mean one row is these four so one two three and these two are gonna go with the last row so these are the four colors of the first row so this one is really really light and if you follow me on my channel for a little while I did use this one a lot before I got the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Beauty Killer palette to use this as my base but I, I love this one I love that one and of course the shimmers are like really pretty but this one isn't as bright but it's like really handy to put in your outer corner to give it a little bit more depth so this one the really really bright one you can barely see is called dust cloud this one is called Scorpio this one is called fire witch and this one is called Leo these are the four shades of the second row with one shimmer which is this one and it's really pretty and purple and this color is called Sophie this color is called Spellbound this color is called Cancer and this is Seiya and this is the last row and the two highlighters of this palette so I actually think this is such a cool color because it has this shift as you can see it looks brown with a green shift and these highlighters are so pretty I love this one the most because it fits my skin tone the best. But this is the last row and the two highlighters. So this one is called Boy Next Door. 
pink one is called Hamenta. This one is called Aries, and this one is called Howl. And this is the highlighter you see on the top of the palette. It's called Apollo, and the one on the bottom of the palette is called Nova. Then I have a palette that has been on my channel too, and it's this one, the Kimchi Thick X Catnips palette. I think this is such a pretty palette, it looks really big, and this is what the back looks like, really pretty. And if you haven't seen the video before, this is what the inside looks like. So what I'm going to do is do this row, this row and this row, so this row 1, 2 and 3, putting them separate on my arms because I can't put all of these at once on my arm. But I do love the very big mirror, I like the color story and the pigment that they have is like amazing. And this whole bottom row is shimmer, so that's really really cool, so you have enough shimmers to play with if you have this whole big palette. So this is the first row of the palette and I love how bright these ones are. I like how black this one is because black is like a harder color and these ones are like so pretty and so easy to use. So the black one is called Onyx, this one is called Burnt, Toast, Rust, Watermelon and Blueberry. And this is the second row of the palette and oh my god these shimmers are like so beautiful. I love the pink one the most. But the reflection of both of these is like amazing. So this one is called Burgundy. This one is called Organza. Chocolate. Natural. Ocean Blue and Grape. And this is what the third row looks like. Which are actually only glitters. And I actually love all of these. They're just like these really pretty shades. And they're like actually none of them look the exact same. Or close to each other so this one is called penny this one is called champs copper silk 24k and rich this one was a limited edition one so if it's still on here on the internet and you can find it I would totally recommend it because I love this palette I was really really excited for when it came out and it's the naked tutorials X Beauty Bay palette which looks so so pretty it has a message on the back and it opens like this it has two mirrors this one is a normal mirror and this one is a mirror like you can see everything closer so that's really really handy and I love the color story and I love the story that she had to tell with it and the shimmers of this palette are like amazing so just like the previous palette, I'm going to do row by row. So one, two, three and four. This is the first row of the eyeshadow palette. I love the glitters in this palette, like I said. And this one is very pretty for the inner corner. And I actually used all of these, like almost all of these for my inner corner. Because I think it looks very pretty and bright. So the orange one is called Redemption. The pink one is called Blend and Snap. Shiny one is called Ivy. Then we have Slasher and this is 5am. And here you have the second row with this very beautiful shimmer and this very crazy beautiful shimmer. So this first one is called Roxy Gedden. The second one is called Fla, which is actually a Dutch word. The third one is called Mikai, which is for her little brother which is like most beautiful red I've ever seen this one is called Mila and this one is called underground and this is the third row of the palette with again like these amazing shimmers the little blue one is called plot twist this one is called Aura this one is called basic truth which has almost the same tone as my skin tone this really amazing shimmer which looks brown with green inside it's called all in and i actually had this like all over my lid for new year's eve well from old year to new year so old year's eve new year's morning and i love this green it's called eel because nikki doesn't like green but like look at it it's so so pretty then 
we have the very last row of this palette which again beautiful beautiful shimmers so the very first one is called pride then we have summer which is a dutch word again this blue one is called mama tutorials this is amsterdam and this is mr tutorials i actually love all of the colors in this palette i think it's a really nice concept because she was like this for night and this is for the day and you can take all of these together and make all of the pretties look and I love how pretty it looks with the night and the day. Then we go to the second last one which is the Morphe X Jeffree Star one. It does look like this. <laughs> Open. It looks like this. I don't think the payoff of this palette is like actually amazing. I just bought it because I'm a huge Jeffree fan. Um, yeah, I don't think these colors are like the best colors ever. And for his high standards, I don't think they're actually like, like the best that he could offer. But like, it is a really pretty color story though. And I like the names of it. So... What I did with the previous palettes, I'm going to do again. So I'm going to do row 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. I do love the big mirror on here. Because like, it's really big, you can see your whole face in it. It's really handy for when you want to do your makeup or you just want to check from is my eyeshadow good, do my lips look good, so that's really handy. So this is the first row of the palette. We have the two normal shimmers here and one little bit of a weirder shimmer which actually look like a matte but it like has this really really tiny shimmer to it I actually like this color a lot and then we have the names of course so the very first one is called welcome back to my channel and then we have one noise with the little stars behind it which I think is actually really cool to do at the first row because Jeffrey always starts his videos like this. So this is the second row and this shimmer is like actually so pretty. And then we have the names again. So we start with the color Lin, which is actually almost the same color as my skin tone. Then we have the color 9085. Then we have the shade Mogu. Self-made, Dark Mom, and Honest Truth. And this is the third row of the palette with a beautiful shimmer again. And it's called Designer Label. Then we have Mr. Diva, Boss Angeles, Pink Fleet, Calabasas, and Don't Know Her, which is actually pretty too like really shimmery would combinate nice with this pink color over here this is the fourth row which actually has this really cool glitter shade and but the sad thing is it doesn't transfer as pretty as it does here on the eyelid because it doesn't stick that amazingly so that's really really sad and you can feel like the glitters when you're putting your finger in it so i don't like that too much so the first color is called Roll With It, very pretty. The second color is called Millions, Girl, What's the T, Vroom Vroom, and Custom Rims. And then we have the last row with a really pretty shimmer. And this palette was made when Jeffrey was still dating Nate, so there are a couple of things in here, in this palette from the relationship. The first one is called Glam Rapids, Wake and Bake, Nate, Drive Through, High Dude, and Fast Lane. And then I'm gonna go with the last palette I have, which not everyone like understands why some people have this, but it's the Morphe X James Charles palette. And I got this from my parents for my 18th birthday. And I thought it was really, really nice. I wanted this really bad, so I asked for it. And I actually think this is really handy for when you're a beginner at makeup. 
I know Morphe and James don't work together anymore, but I think this is like a really pretty palette and I did have much use out of it. Like it has this beautiful color story and of course it's not like the best pigment of everything but like it's really easy to use they're really easy to blend so they're really easy for when you're getting into makeup because you have like this big variety of colors so you can play with every color you want to which i think is really really nice and again they have the sheet with the names on it which i don't really mind and on the inside it says unleash your inner artist which i think is really cool because it's the artist art artist palette and I do like the shimmers in this palette more than the matte ones because they have a little bit more pigment. The one sad thing is no mirror here and with the tiny version of this one they did do a mirror but I thought I already have the big one I don't need the tiny one. And here you have the first row of the James Charles X Morphe palette. So these are shimmers, this one is a shimmer which is really really pretty and this one is a more skin toned color so the first one is called canvas then we have ring light so good 518 rusted halloween wig and tea so this is the second row of the palette and I again love the really light shiny color. I think the most together with this really pretty shiny color. But this one is less shiny than that one so I like that one more. But this one is called Punch Me, Sister, Mary, Literally, Are You Kidding, Shook, Boutique and Benny. And this is actually not a black, this is a really dark br brown. When I do this you can see it like... A little bit better it's really really dark brown and here you have the colors of the bigger row which is in the middle and again such a pretty shiny shade and I think it's really nice that he put it like a row with bigger pants in the middle and of the pants he thinks like most people will use the most so here we have flashback then we have face tune code James 10% off no Beans and Spooky, which is a black one. This is the fourth row of the palette. <coughs> this blue shade is so pretty. This green shade is really pretty and shiny. But I think the purple one looks the absolutely prettiest of the whole palette. I did wear this one on my 18th birthday. Because I got this palette before my birthday. And I even want... Because I had to school, I had to go to school that day, and there was even a teacher who was male who said he really liked my makeup that day. It was a little bit weird, but it was still very sweet. So this yellow one is called B. This one is called Guac. Hello. Playground. Brother. Artistry. Love that and Pinkity Drinkity. And here you have the very last row of this palette. Again, some really pretty shimmer. I wanted to say shimmers, but there's just... Well, there are two, but this one is not that shimmery, so it's just this one for me. And this one is called Social Blade, Daddy, Cape Cut, Cola, Acapella, Escape, Single, and Skip. I actually am still really happy to have this one in my collection because, well, it, it's going out so it's not going to be seen anymore when like they sold all of them because they're not going to make any new ones and I still have this in my collection so I'm really happy with that because it's a really big one and I don't have anything, well, I don't think James is good but like I don't mind, I still watch his videos, I think he's a very amazing artist and that's why I like this palette because it's an artistry palette and you have so many colors and I didn't have many many eyeshadow palettes when I first got this one so that was really really nice to use and I do like the whole color story in here the only thing the mirror really sad but yeah so those were all my eyeshadows and eyeshadow palettes 
except the Jeffree Star Cosmetics one because I'm gonna film a different video about that one because I have more than, well, I think might the same amount as this, but I don't have singles. But like, I do have very many palettes of his and I thought this video would be way too long if I put it all of that in here too. So I did want to separate them. And yeah, these are all the palettes I have. Now, I'm really happy to have this whole collection and I'm really happy with the makeup that I have. I still want to have more, of course, because I really love makeup and I love to try out new things. So, so if you have any recommendations, comment them down below and I will, of course, take a look at it. I think I want to try like way, way more makeup. I love makeup and I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and turn on the notifications so you get a notification every time I upload a brand new video. And I really liked filming this video. I like to see what I have so I get a little feel of, oh, I can use this with this. So, because you don't always take out all of your makeup and now I take off out all of my makeup and see what I all have, which is very nice to do so. And that's the reason why I love filming these collection videos. And I hope you enjoyed it, just like I said, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!